Hey y'all, it's Cherokee Starfish, and welcome to Teen Agent. <laughs> uh, so these subtitles go by pretty quick, so I'm going to try my best to do voices here, but uh, it kind of is what it is. You see here, this guy is delivering some gold to Mega Bank. This is such a silly bad game. This was the first game to come out on CD-ROM in Poland, I think. As I told you, our organization takes care of unusual problems. Last time we solved the problem of a UFO over the White House. Oh, really? How? We shot the thing down. I understand. And who or what was inside? You want to know? Oh yes, as a fortune teller, I'm a curious person. Do you really want to know? Yes. But, really, really? Yes! Sorry, I can't tell you. Anyway, we need your help. I'm not a secret agent, I'm a fortune teller. I know. But we have a very difficult case, which we haven't been able to solve for six months. We're in a hopeless situation. I thought to myself, if we handle strange cases, then why not use strange means? And let me show you the phone book. Use your powers and select a name. Maybe a fresh mind will solve the case. You don't believe it will work, do you? No, I don't. This is stupid. I know. Okay, show me the book. The name is... A Harper. Mark A Harper. Hmm. Our character is introduced by littering. He's coming. Hey, what's the matter? <laughs> Just whack him on the back of the head. Oh, I'm sorry about my men. Sometimes they get a bit too nervous. But please, let's talk. Listen, mister. I know. I know. Please, give me five minutes and everything will become clear. Go on. I always like that conspiracy stuff. Well, I'm head of a secret government organization called the RGB. Why RGB? Even I don't know. It's so secret. Cool. The aim of my organization is to solve all the extraordinary problems around the world. Like taxes? No, like UFOs, strange inventions, spirits. Wow! Yes, when the police, the Secret Service, and so on can't solve the problem. It's delivered to us. But, you see, six months ago, gold and cash deposited in bank safes started to disappear. Literally. And it's gone. And gone. Without a trace. The whole thing happens in a few seconds. We have video recordings, but they don't show anything. That's why we hired the fortune teller to show us someone who could be our salvation. She has chosen you. I beg your pardon. You said you've hired... A fortune teller? Yes, we're desperate and we'll try everything once. This is crazy, Mom. Wake, wake me up. Relax. Oh, we have a proposal for you. Try to help us and you will be rewarded. Uh, what's in it for me? Self-satisfaction? 
our respect. Patriotism. Girls. Uh, what, what do you mean? Every girl loves a secret agent. Okay, I agree. What am I supposed to do? Before you start, I suggest that first you get some training in our special secret camp. I'll issue a pass for you. Deal? Deal. And here we are. The beginning of Teen Agent. This is... It is a classic point-and-click. I know that we have... We've done point-and-click games in the past. Uh, you know, we've done things like The Seventh Guest, of course, but we haven't done one of the traditional sort of cartoony LucasArts style or, or like Sierra Online point-and-click games. Uh, and this one is kind of notoriously... It's, it's funny, but it's also not very, really very good. So I thought that this would be a... Uh, a fun departure from what we usually do while we are waiting for Titan Quest to be ready. So, let's see. First things first. Let's make sure we adjust our options here. Has hero speed. Crazy! It's not that fast, you'll see. There we go. I'm going to turn the music down just a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Teen Agent, we are playing Mark Hopper, who is newly recruited by the RGB, thanks to the help of this mysterious fortune teller. Um, and we are going to go through secret agent training, and we are going to hopefully solve the mystery of the disappearing gold. So... I don't think he's making the right impression. Yeah, for real. Alright, it's been a while. I've messed with this, but never like played all the way through it. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to showcase this is because um, this is one of the games that you can get on GOG for free. They give a number of classic games away just for, you know, if you have an account, you can just download it. This is one of those. It doesn't cost anything. I'll put a link in the description below the video on the YouTube upload. So if you're watching on YouTube, just scroll down and you'll see where you can get Teen Agent for yourself if you want to try it. And let's see. Okay, so we've got the way out. We've got the guard. We've got a path going forward. And we should have an inventory, I would think. This game's a little weird. Any of the F buttons just kind of, like, takes you here. Oh, and I should show, actually, it is possible, if you're in the mood, to play this game in black and white. If you really want to go old school. Okay. So, home sweet home, we can't leave, cool, he just says cool. So the first thing is we need to find, where is it, our inventory. Here's one of the reasons why, like, I'm sure that this game probably makes some sense. Um, like, if you play these kinds of, these older games all the time, if you were there when it, uh, when it was new. But a lot of these old DOS games, uh, they have wonky controls. So, let's see. I actually have to... Hmm. I actually have to look up how to... Okay. There we go. I literally had to look up how to access the inventory. <laughs> so there you go. So you just have to hover at the top of the screen and after a second it pops out. So. 
Oh, read the manual? Nah, nah fam. Okay, and you can right click to combine items or left click to select them. Let this guy in, RGB chief. So, oh. there we go. So you have to right click on it to activate it and then left click on whatever you want to use it on. Go. Here are my papers. All right. Report to the captain. He should be around somewhere. Thanks, man. There we go. And left clicking just observes. So you, if you want to actually take like a, uh, a path, for example, you have to right click on it to activate it. Otherwise, he just looks at it and is like, yeah, cool. Okay, well. I'm sure it does. Okay, we're going to jump straight in. I have to remember, right-click to activate. Here we go. Sir, I'm Mark, a rookie. We're gonna turn you into a real man, right, son? Uh... Best of the best. Uh... By sweat, blood, and tears. I, I'd, I'd rather... I'm glad to see your enthusiasm, son. Let's not waste time. I was told to give you some express training. Alright, son. You'll have to pass three trials. Let's begin with the easy one. The task is simple. I'll lock you up here, and you must escape. Is it clear? Uh, sir, I... Good! H Hello? Great. So, we have a spring, we have a bed some graffiti, a bulb, trash can, some crates, weirdly, the door, a switch, I can't interact with the little spider back here, unfortunately. Yeah, this is a spy thriller, didn't you know? So I mean, we gotta do an escape room. Yeah, I think that that's what it is, is it's supposed to be greats, because you may have noticed uh, already that there are a couple of translation errors. Like I said, this is a Polish game originally, um, and I think that it was the first one to be released on CD-ROM in Poland, so it has a history. Okay, so here. Heavy and solid, indeed. The door is closed, what a surprise. I think you have to activate the grates. Okay, that was funny. <laughs> now let me out. Hey, is there anybody out there? Help! Have mercy! <laughs> I'm gonna die here. Now he sounds like a teenager. I'm getting hungry. Th thanks. There we go, so now we have a bowl made of aluminum. Ooh, <laughs> no thanks. This food seems still alive. <laughs> uh, we got cafeteria food here. Okay, so let's see. Oh! Oh god. Okay, so now, now we have the light bulb. We should probably be able to take this spring as well. And as usual for these kinds of games, he's just going to stuff everything into his pocket. Wonderful. Okay, so now we have a live cable. Hey, that gives me an idea. Now I gotta check if it works. So he's going to hook that up to the aluminum bowl. Hmm. Oh, and then we turn the switch on. Ooh. I think it's time to call the captain. 
Hey, I finished the meal. Oh, God. Wow. He got welded to the bowl. Uh, Jesus. A oh, body? <laughs> Did we just kill that guy? We took something from him. Okay, that would be the key. first test. Let's get to the next one. Okay, soldier. Let's assume I'm your captive, and I know some secret password. Your task is to get it from me. Clear. Uh, am I restricted? No. Do anything you want. May I even spit in your eye? Yes. Thanks. Just check it. <laughs> okay. Gosh. Alright, let's see what we've got here. The door. Picture. A locker. A map. Another picture. Sabers. Guns. A bed. Desk. Drawer. And the captain. Okay. closed. Not that I'm surprised. Cool. That's gonna be his default thing. Picasso? Nice chopper. My grandpa had one of these once. I exchanged it for a joystick. Grandpa didn't like the idea. Oh, what a pity. They're only models. Oh, that doesn't look comfortable, does it? Oh, it looks horrible, actually. It's just a load of old junk. The drawer is closed. He's sitting tight. Okay, so it looks like... Too blunt to be of any use. There are models. Can we open the locker? It's locked. Okay. So, let's try heading outside. Canteen agent door. Okay. Um, I'm also seeing some artifacts here where occasionally, like, it leaves a bit of the cursor or something on the screen. Let's go explore this way. A brick wall. And there's a shovel over there. Why the hell are there glowing eyes in the woods? Where is this camp? Solid ground. Okay, so obviously we're supposed to do something here. can't figure out what I should do with this. Got a feeling I'm gonna need this somehow. Yeah. Okay, so the game is self-aware. Well, that's good. Um, this is solid. If we need to get over there, maybe... Could launch a rocket with it. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. I've seen better things to sit on. God. <laughs> okay. And how am I supposed to get back? Fair. Okay. Great. Oh, yeah, right. Piece of cake. <laughs> what? Oh, we can just take a piece of that plant. Okay. And now we can't interact with the spring anymore, so that must be all we needed it for. Wow. Okay, so, so far, um, I'm seeing, like, the general sort of, uh, you know, point-and-click adventure game logic. Let's see, what's over here? There's a bird, a post, a mud pool... I prefer water. Yeah, me too. 
Heaven for Woodstock fans, alligators, and those tough women fighting on late TV shows. <laughs> Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, he cleans up quick. Sometimes I feel tired. Very tired. <laughs> that's a, that's a mood. Okay. Hey, trance. Welcome. Welcome to this terrible game. Camouflage isn't quite state of the art. Mysterious object fence. Okay. So we're gonna have to reach through there, I'm sure. This is gonna Okay, come back around the other side. So we've only got a couple screens that we have to mess with. We haven't been in the cantina yet. Who's this fun character? The barman. What a hardworking citizen. Hello, sir. I'm Mark. What a pity you're not a dollar. What can I do for you? Uh, you can give me a lot of money. Or you can do a headstand. Or... Okay, okay. It's a tie. So... Who else is in the camp? You a journalist? No, I'm a secret agent. You too. Uh, anyway, there's only three men. Me, the captain, and the guard. Uh, no women? No cry. Mm, well? Oh, crumbs. Hello. Disgusting. People really should clean up after themselves. We'll just take those. This is a point-and-click adventure game. We gotta take anything that's not nailed down, right? I wonder why there's such a large choice of alcohol at the training camp. To keep the troops happy? Hmm, take too much time to drink at all. Maybe after the mission. Looks like there's a problem with the clock. Radio looks like a radio, but the aerial is made of some kind of hanger. It's too big and I doubt if I'll ever need it. Hmm, we'll see about that. Must lead to the storeroom. Hey, keep away from that door. Why? None your business. Just keep away. Oh, I love this cash register. He loves it. I'm not a thief. And it's empty, by the way. Okay. Well, we, we got some, uh... We got some crumbs. Remains of some bread. A tickly plant. Okay, well, let's see here. We've got to get him to talk. And it seems like we have picked up everything we can pick up at the moment. I didn't click on the mysterious object yet. There is that. Maybe we can... This is saying it tickles. Let's try that. Okay. Now what's the password? Get lost, you pathetic wimp. Be nice or I'll tickle you again. Go on, that'll be a pleasure. You enjoyed that, didn't you? Well, uh, you know. Okay, I'll find some other way. <laughs> Swiss Army Knife. Hey. Nice. I wonder if it's got a TV on this, too. Hmm. Uh, okay, the only thing that we didn't do was... Look at this mysterious object, so I want to do that. Boy, that could be some kind of treasure. Can't reach it. I don't want to touch this, I might get hurt. It's made of barbed wire and it's rusty. Ooh. Can we use the shovel to reach through? Fence blocks the way. 
I don't see how, but okay, sure. Um, hmm. Well, the crumbs aren't going to be useful here. That probably has something to do with the bird, I bet. Let's see. If the shovel doesn't work, we just got this knife. These usually, well, it's got a knife on it regardless. I was going to say is they usually have like uh, scissors on them or something. So if the shovel won't reach, then probably we have to, because he said the fence is in the way, we have to get rid of the fence first. Maybe we can cut it. Yep. There we go. Hey. Now we can just pick it up. Nice. Can't pull it out. Okay, now that's what we need the shovel for, I bet. This music is something else. And we are leaving the shovel. Okay, so what do we get? Oh, a kaleidoscope. I could spend my whole life looking through this. Well, let's say five minutes. Alright, it's boring. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Can we use the crumbs on the bird? Should I throw crumbs to the bird? Well, y yes. He's not doing it for some reason. Maybe we have to do something else first. It might not be part of this challenge. Okay. Let's talk to this guy again. Please tell me the password and let's get over it all. I'm sure that's supposed to be, let's get it over with. Okay, think about it. It's not going to do it. Okay, so we have to do something else. So what have we got? We've got the pass, which we I can't think of another use for that right now. The bulb, which we haven't seen a use for. Jail key we've already used for now, but we still have the key for some reason, so maybe we'll have to unlock or relock that door later. We used this, and that got us the knife. Got the crumbs, which we can't give to the bird yet, and the kaleidoscope. This guy's just standing here reading a magazine. The barman didn't seem to be any help. So... Maybe he wants this? Would you care for a wonderful kaleidoscope? I had one once, but Captain saw me playing with it and took it from me. I think he uses it himself, you know? If you give me that gazette, I'll give you this kaleidoscope. I don't want to know how you got it. Good. What if the captain sees me again? Don't worry, he's tied up. Oh, test number two, I guess. Yep. Okay, let's have some fun here. Oh, that blue thing is a grenade, I guess? Well, we should take that, probably. Yeah, he's not making the right impression. Hello? He's totally addicted. Okay, so we're done with him for now, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Let's 
so now we have a grenade. Must be crazy to put it in my pocket. Something horrible might happen. And soldier news. It's just the same as women's magazines, but there are guns instead of perfumes. It's cool anyway. Um... Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. Okay, um... What do we have here? Can we threaten him with a grenade? That's no good. Okay. Does he want this magazine? I brought you something. You can't bribe me. Oh, yeah? And what about a new, a hot off the press, a full color special edition of Soldier News? Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme! I'll do anything! Password. The password is coffee. Tell it to the barman and he'll give you something. Then he'll tell you about the third task. Now free me! I'll think about it. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so we have the password. We just need to tell the barman, I guess? Coffee. Hot, wasn't it? Uh-huh. Captain says you're gonna tell me about the third task? Again. Well, it's kinda hide and seek. The captain hides, you seek. But I, I left him tied to a chair. Ah, that man in his sick games. He enjoys it more than he should. He cheated you. Go and check. I'm sure he's already free. But I, I, I took his knife. How could he cut the ties? Maybe he walked away with the chair tied to his... Oh, ne never mind. Any hints about where he might hide? None. Oh, come on. No, boy. Play fair. Hmm. Okay, well. He gave us something that we put in our pocket. A mug. Okay. An empty mug. Do we search this? I left-clicked on this. Did I right-click on it? Yeah, right. This super-secret organization. It's a little sketch. Oh, we did find something. Okay. What we find? Ooh, a rope. It's thin and long. Yeah, well, as ropes tend to be. Um. Okay, we need to go back and check on the captain, he said. Okay, the captain is gone. Uh. So we have this key that doesn't go to anything else in here. Another key, probably. I've seen softer rocks. <laughs> Should have paid more attention in geography classes. Well, hmm. okay, so we have to find him. think we can we can't just go back nope okay so it's gonna be this is gonna be some weird like adventure game point and click logic bullshit I'm sure okay we're done there it's got to be something to do with the bird right sure big boy Hey, you up there. <laughs> Get down at once, he says. Zero reaction. Is it deaf or something? No, it just doesn't care. Can we climb the post and give crumbs to it, like, up there, maybe? No, it flies away. Oh, no, it came back. 
I love how he just lies there. <laughs> Woodstock's over. saying the same thing. So he asks, should he throw crumbs to the bird, but then we don't really get an option to say yes or no, so it must be something else. Hmm. Well, this is fun. this work on anything else? Now we begin the tried and true tradition of um, using everything in our inventory with everything else. won't accomplish anything. I was wondering, could we make a grappling hook or something with the rope? They gave us the mug for some reason. feel like... Oh! Tied the rope to the pin. Okay. So now maybe we can use this to... That's no good. I was thinking we could blow up one of the things that was locked that we couldn't open. Oh! Okay. <laughs> wow. 67 rude words later. <laughs> okay. Now it's open, yeah? What's in there? Medicine. They look like sleeping pills, though I don't have any idea why. Hmm. Okay. Sleeping pills. Maybe... Could we put these in the mug and give a drink to the barman? No. Can we put it in the crumbs and feed it to the bird? Oh. Smells like teen spirit. Oh my god. I bet this is what we give to the bird. Come on, baby, it's all yours. some drugs then fell five meters. Who wouldn't want a nap after that? <laughs> he just put that down his pants. Now we have the bird. We'd make a great dinner. I mean, friend, of course. Okay. Hmm. So now we have the bird for some reason. Um... Where would it make sense to use the bird? We need to get something... Um, 
I'm trying to think like King's Quest style. Uh, maybe the bird has to fly onto something, but what would that be? Maybe we can you can use the bird to like weigh down a lever or flip a switch. Time for a little hint. No. Hmm. Okay. Um, do you want this magazine? That's no good. Okay. What else can we interact with in here? Barman, the clock, the radio, the cash register, and the door. Would any of this make sense? Can we give him his mug back? No. Okay. But maybe he'd put something in it for us. Hmm. The captain is hiding somewhere. We've got to not lose track of the core objective. There's only a couple places I feel like he could realistically be hiding. We haven't been back here. Saving's a very fine thing, especially when your parents have done it for you. We didn't search this trash can. It's empty. Okay. Hmm. He's not in there. I'm betting that he is either hiding in this locker or in the storage room in the canteen, or he could be in that camouflage tent. Let's see if maybe... Can we use the... He could be in the mud, I guess. Um, can we use the bird? No. Okay, I was thinking we could set it loose in the tent. I don't think we have anything. We don't have another key. We don't have another grenade. I'm just grasping at straws here. Whoa. What the? Hmm. Got no reason to talk to him right now. Okay, so... Surprising, but there's tea in it. He'll surely notice that it's disappearing. Okay. Can we... No. We can't interact with the shells. Maybe we can get through the door? The barman is too close. Um... Can we swap... Our mug for his mug? No. Okay. This is one of the reasons this game is kind of like, eh, you know, because uh, like many point-and-click adventure games, especially older ones, uh, there is not always a precise or obvious logic. Sometimes it's very cartoony logic why you do things. So I'm trying to think outside the box, but... Okay, we have to... It has to be something in the canteen, right? We use the bird to distract the barman. And he left this mug behind. And we got a mug earlier. That's gotta be it, right? Like you trade the mug out for something else? What would it be, though? He's got tea. If we could put something else in it, we could either knock him out or make him go somewhere else. Can... Hmm. 
I slip and fall in. Well, yeah. But we've done that multiple times. Why would you care now? Okay, now that we've already fallen in. Okay. Now let's go try and trade them out. Mug full of mud, yep. Okay. Did we take the other one? Yes. Yeah, right? Me too. Okay, now can we talk to him? Aha. Hey, aren't you thirsty? Have you, uh, forgotten about your cup? Yeah, right. Oh! <laughs> Damn, he went down hard. Okay. So now, I guess... Now we go through the door. Aha! A new room. Okay, what do we got? Lots of drawers, boxes, boxes, a locker, barrels, oh, there was something. Blinking hole. Is that the captain? Captain surely wouldn't fit in them. I must look elsewhere. I hate bureaucracy. There's too many of them to search. Hmm. Captain Shirley wouldn't fit. It's locked. <laughs> Thanks, Crow. That's weird. Oh! Oh, God! You! You! Have passed, sir. Hmm. And it was even fun. I'm glad you liked our training methods, but let's get to the point. I must admit, I didn't believe you could actually help. Nothing personal. I hope so. But you brought us luck. Our people found out that some businessman is spending his money like crazy for some strange materials. There are three very suspicious things about him. He pays in cash, which is very strange in a plastic card century. Second, a half a year ago, he wasn't nearly as rich as he is now. Third, what the hell does he need 100 kilograms of borax for? Ah, uh, maybe he's just a weirdo. Maybe. But I want you to fly to the place and try to sneak inside his mansion to find out some more information. What do you say? Well... I promise you'll be an official secret agent after this mission. Promise? My word of honor. Okay, uh, I'm ready. Where am I supposed to go? It's a little village. You won't find it on many maps. But before you go, let me give you some special agent equipment. I would give you some boots to make you fly, but I've lent them to somebody. <laughs> okay. The Mega Power Gauntlets are also out of stock. As a matter of fact, I only have special super glue. That's better than nothing. Good luck. After the tiring journey. Here we are. That's a cute little place. Wow. This is charming. Okay. Well, first of all, we know what we need to do now, right? Better save. An aisle. Nice place to start ecological life. A boat. I can't believe it, but the boat has no hole. I refuse to tell cheap jokes with the word well. Echo! Echo! Who's there? Who's there? Don't copy me. Don't copy me. I will throw a rock down there. 
Or I will. Echo! <laughs> okay. Oh. Could I click on the fish there? Okay, I thought that I could for a second. I thought it... Flower. What's he got to say about that? It's the most beautiful flower I've seen in my entire life. Path to village. Ooh, a child with a basketball. So we've got basket, pole, door, the trunk of this car, car door, hook hand car door, doorbell, the door itself, window, hmm, two windows. Path going this way. Laundry. The air is too damp to dry this wet laundry. I really don't want to walk around in somebody else's socks. Door, windows. Another bell. A dog. Can we pet the dog? Snoopy. Hello there, big boy. And a valve. I don't think that's what that's called. It looks like a cellar door. Path to a cave. Butterfly. Oh. Hmm. Isn't that lovely? Leave them alone. Yeah, they make the place beautiful. This bush blocks the way to the cave. Maybe someone planted it here to keep the cave's secrets safe. And the thorns look really sharp. Okay, so we'll need something to remove it. Alright, so. The path goes down to the cave. Oh. We've got another path that goes this way. To a field. Okay. Haystacks. A mouse. A hen. A scarecrow. Some fins. Oh, are those like swimming fins? Crows. A mansion. Some people really have no taste. Oh. And a sickle and rake. Very dangerous tool. Let's take it. Very old, there aren't many teeth left. <laughs> Good thing I always ask mom for trousers with big pockets. Wow, just the kerthunk. Okay, and we don't get to keep things from previous levels, it looks like. Other items don't carry over. In a way, that's good, because that way we just don't have to worry about it. So, let's see here. Super glue. Turbo Mega Giga Super Ultra Fast Drying Glue Plus. So blunt, I couldn't even cut butter with it. The space between the teeth is too large to make this rake any use. Okay. Path to Lake. There we go. Then we have Path to Mansion. There's a guard, some gargoyles, mansion wall, door, sculpture, path around mansion, forest, meadow. Let's go back this way first. Path to forest. A squirrel. That is a dopey looking squirrel. I kind of love it. Door, windows. Okay, well, we have no idea what to do with any of these things yet, so I guess we better start talking to people and knocking on doors. This house is just empty. Okay. Fireplace. There's a lot of soot in here. Don't need this picture. Trophies. Guns. I don't need plastic imitations. There are no real guns anywhere in this game. Is that a chainsaw? I don't know why, but it reminds me of some Texas guy I met once. We just... Okay. Alright. It's empty. Hmm. Heart-shaped hole. What a lovely hole. Hmm. Okay. Rotten cheese. Oh, we're going to take that. People leave food in unbelievable places. 
Oh, and I'm afraid to even breathe around these things. This fine porcelain. Too fragile to carry around. Cupboard. Anything down there? Not sure if it shouldn't be on the other side of the wall. Is that it? Oh, the chandelier. No way I can jump so high, because uh, white men can't jump. <laughs> okay. Alright. So, from that we got a chainsaw. Good condition, but no fuel, so we need to be on the lookout for fuel. And somewhat rotten cheese. Reminds me of my room. Ugh. Ew. Okay. Can't use the rake on the squirrel. Okay, uh, where should we start looking next? Before we go to the mansion, I guess we should probably try talking to some of these people. Hello, child. He's trying hard to score, but he's too weak to throw the ball high enough. Hi. Hello. I'm Mark. What's your name? What's my name? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. Me? Don't tell me me. Just, just say your name. Your name? Jeez. What did your dad call you? Sonny. Sonny's as in the name, or Sonny as in, like, son? Sonny. Are you stupid or just rude? Sonny, I am. Okay. Sonny or whatever. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Can we talk to him again? Listen, Sonny or whatever. What are you trying to do with this ball? Well, Grandpa said he'd take me to the zoo if I score. I think you should throw the ball a little higher. Yeah, I know. So... So what? So why don't you do it? Must be something with my eyes. You should wear glasses? No, why? Huh... Okay, maybe you're just too weak to send the ball high enough. No kidding. Uh, <laughs> this child. Hmm. No, oh, I should have rung the bell first. I didn't think about it. Home sweet home. Not tired. A flower. It's green. It's too big and I'll doubt if I'll need it. Fair enough. Anything in these cupboards? May I search your drawers? Oh, there's someone in here. Yes. Yes? Ah, oh, I forgot to tell you, they are all empty. Only the right upper one has a handkerchief in it. You can take it if you want. I don't need it. Uh, thank you. You're very kind? Just don't think I'll let you take anything else. Of course, I, I wouldn't even dream. Hmm. Looks like a retired sea wolf. Good day, sir. And good day to you, my son. Uh, my name's Mark, sir. Great. What do you want? I'm just admiring your armchair. It's nice. Nice and pretty comfortable. And big. Two-person model. Okay. View of the field. A table. She must be for dinosauruses. May I borrow this shotgun? No. Please. Young man, this weapon's old and very dangerous. I'm a responsible man, got it? Uh, but I'll... no. Family pictures. I wouldn't like having my ancestors hanging like trophies. A fan. It's battery powered. May I borrow the fan? No way. It makes this hot day more bearable. Fair. 
I wasn't expecting. I, I just didn't even see anybody in there. And then he's like, no, you can rifle through my drawers and take stuff. Sure. One can use this to scare the people behind the door. It's out of order. Okay. It's always something useful in a trunk, but it's shut tight. There's a, a cone? Okay. I'd like to keep it open. Okay, sure. Would you? All right. Found a four meter long metal pole with a basket screwed to it. Gives me ambivalent feelings. Reminds me of school. I wonder, can we, could we like grab the basket and pull it down? Because then, if he made the shot, it looks like it could slide up and down. So if we could shorten it and he got the shot through, the old man would take Sonny to the zoo and then we could go in and get the shotgun? Question mark? I guess? Nothing interesting about this haystack, huh? This mouse is very nervous. It's too hard to catch a mouse just like that, and what challenge would it be? Oh, but we have some rotten cheese, though. Mices love cheeses. Mices love cheeses. Come here, I got something for you. <laughs> Can't catch it. Okay. So we need... something else? The owner must have such a big nose he needs to use a whole bar of soap just to wash it. The mouse hole is separate. Okay. Oh! Okay. I wasn't thinking of stuffing it in there, I was thinking of draping it across the top, but... I was thinking if we could put something... I was just gonna try everything, and if we could block that, then he can't go anywhere. Let's see if we can catch him this time. I don't know what we'll need a mouse for. The mouse is trapped, is it? I wouldn't do that. Oh, okay, lol. Yikes, indeed. So the game did punish him for putting a mouse in his pants. It's very active. And we got the handkerchief back as a separate item. Okay. What about you, hen friend? A little strange. What if hens can fly? Come here, baby. Here it comes. Oh my god! First test failed. Wow. Wow, what a bastard. Okay, but it did drop a feather though. I already got rid of my frustrations. Wow. Sure these crows will kill me. Okay, well, can we just... There's a dive mask on there, too. Scarecrow. We need something. Can we use the smelly cheese with the scarecrow? No. Can we put the mouse in there? No. Okay. Um... I would try to scare these birds myself if I hadn't watched that Hitchcock movie when I was five. <laughs> okay. My mom should never have let me watch that. Now I'm a chicken, even when I eat eggs. So we know Mark's weakness. Okay, so we have to find some way to get rid of the crows, and then we'll be able to get the fins and the diving mask. Sure. Why not? Uh, 
Let's go down and check out this other house. So we've got the dog, the valve. Of course, the dog's not gonna let us pass. That's a weird looking dog. I understand, good doggy. It's open. Okay, who's in here? An old lady and a girl. <gasps> a girl. Something that Mark has been looking for the entire time. Don't think there's a secret passage inside. Yeah, this isn't the seventh guest. Imitation fruits. Do you need this fake apple? It depends. This apple has its own story. I remember how one day my younger sister Mary was making... Uh, how long is this story? No, oh, there's no need to rush. We do have hours to talk, don't we? I just realized I don't need that apple. Thanks. Hmm. A jug. They can jug me if I steal this. Okay. It's round, but I doubt it has anything to do with the medieval legend. Feather duster. Oh, hello. Must be for the dust problem. May I borrow this duster? Uh, we don't know each other too well, and I don't lend things to anybody who asks for them. But don't I look reliable? I've said enough. Okay. Maybe we can get to know each other. Nice weather we have today. Indeed it is, my dear. Uh, is that your daughter? You're very kind, my dear, making me so young. But of course, that sweetie is my granddaughter. Oh, yes, she really looks grand. Well, I was once like that. But you still are. How sweet of you. And nobody sings at my window anymore, if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. I know... I, I have similar feelings myself. Sometimes, I guess... Uh, may I ask what you're doing? Yes, you may, my dear. What are you doing? I'm knitting. I understand. What are you knitting? This time you didn't ask if you may ask. Sorry. May I ask? Ask about what? About what are you knitting? You asked me about that before, didn't you? I give up. Gosh. Can we talk to her again? Is everything okay? Indeed it is. Okay. A mirror see the girl's face in it. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the smartest of them all? Not us. Hey, don't think too long. A hint. Someone in this room. A male. Okay, take your time. Gosh. Could she be the most beautiful girl in the world? I think it's high time to introduce myself. I'm Mark. Anne. <laughs> okay. The moment I saw those eyes was the best moment of my entire life. Not counting the time I played Doctor with Susie. I really don't know how to talk to girls. She's cool, though. Oh, well, she got her own music track and everything. Okay. So we have Anne. Her mirror. We've got this imitation fruit. We've got a feather duster. Can we borrow it now? Any chance to borrow the feather duster? I like it where it is. Okay. I 
guess we've done everything here for now. And this just goes back to the cave. So we've explored everywhere. Oh, rock. Must have fallen here ages ago. Wonder if anybody got hurt. It's a great idea. Let's take this rock and walk around a bit. Gee. Okay. We haven't gone to the mansion yet. Or really explored it, rather. Um, oh! Oh yeah, I forgot that I didn't right-click on it earlier. I should have known there's a catch. Paddle is broken. Oh, okay. Broken paddle. I don't know what we'll do with that. Hmm. So, let's go to the meadow. Aha, a bush. Nice place to hide. And I see a bee's nest. I'm gonna stay at least five meters away from these bees. <laughs> a honey balloon. What's this a valve? Rusty and has no lock. Okay, so probably we're gonna have to open that and then like hide behind this and drop that into it. Yeah, honey balloon. <laughs> oh my god. Path around mansion. Forest. Gives me thrills. I can't imagine what I could do with this. Okay. Hello, Gargoyle. Can't find any reason to mess with it. It looks cool. Really sophisticated. Must be three kilometers thick. That's really thick. Looks like a peasant in disguise. Good day. Yeah. Uh, why are you standing here? It's a question of gravitation. Extremely funny joke for a soldier. I'm not a soldier, although I tried to be. I didn't pass the, uh, the physical test. They ordered me to shoot at a thrown coin when jumping from the tree onto a horse. Yeah, that seems hard. Special forces ain't a piece of cake, you know. I'm sorry you didn't make it. Yeah, I missed the horse. Hmm, okay. So we have here, we've got a tree, hollow. Who knows what monsters may live in there. Better not put my hands in there, something might bite them off. Can we put anything else in there, though? Perhaps. No. Maybe the sickle? Nope, okay. Hello, wall. It's covered with something smooth. Too smooth to climb. Wild plant. Some wild potato with an E. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why is potato spelled with an E? <laughs> Alright. It's shaped like a grenade. Hmm. Why is it shaped like a grenade? Another wild plant. Ordinary green stuff. Ah, the only green stuff I like is that rectangular piece of paper with some important looking guy on it. Who are you? Oh, a hedgehog. I don't want to touch it. Its spines could hurt my delicate hands. It has a cone on its back. It's got a little pine cone. Um... Maybe the cone? No. Okay. No. Nope. Let's wait for him to come back. Either way, it's super adorable. Okay. Thing. Okay, so we don't have we don't have any way it doesn't look like to to get the cone. I don't know why I use the potato like sticking a potato in a broken light bulb to unscrew it from the socket, I guess. Um I am certain that this is not what the super glue is for. It can't be, right? Okay. 
so we have no way to get the cone off of the hedgehog yet. And a bottle of water. Hmm, that could be useful to know later. Ooh, a wrapper. Something he ate? Wrapper. Nice design, especially that love candy label. And there's a heart painted on it. How sweet. Okay. That's going to have something to do with Anne, isn't it? Because it has a heart. Okay. So. We've got the path around the mansion. We've got this meadow. We've got the lake and these houses and the cave. We have some super glue. We've got a blunt sickle. We've got a damaged rake, a chainsaw with no fuel, some bad cheese, a comb, a mouse, a handkerchief, a single feather, a broken paddle, a potato that looks like a grenade, and a candy wrapper with a heart on it. Um... Okay... Oh, there's a handle here. I can handle this. It's, it's not a barrel organ. There's no bucket. Okay, so there's something else then. Um, I still feel like... Oh! I wonder what it's for. See, I was going to say, doesn't that... There we go. Opening this, should, we should be able to get into the trunk, surely. What in the world? A toolbox. Doesn't seem to be locked. There's a car jack inside. Great. There's something else inside. A spanner. Oh, okay, cool. So if you click on it multiple times. Okay, and now the toolbox is gone, but we have like this. We've got the spanner and the car jack. Looks reliable. These things always come in handy. Hmm. What in the world? Could we use one of these tools, maybe, to adjust the basket for Sunny over here? Because it said it was screwed on. Oh, here we go. Hey, boy, it's unbelievable. What? You might think it's a joke, but there's a hand holding a sword appearing from the lake. Okay, I'll look. But just don't think you fooled me. This hand appears every year. Maybe this time it'll bring me luck at basketball. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty funny. Sunny. He scored. But Grandpa, you promised. Oh, alright. Let's go. He just comes out, shuts the trunk, drives away. Bye. Hey. Now we can go in. Yep. Just take everything, huh? There's nothing else in the chair itself, so... Okay. So now we have... The shotgun and the fan. Okay, so by point-and-click adventure logic, at least, that actually did kind of what I thought it was going to do. So... That was very silly, but... It sort of made sense? Um, okay, so looks impressive, refreshing, said it was battery powered. I was thinking maybe we would take the batteries out of it, but maybe that's just an excuse for it to continue blowing while we have it so that it stays an active fan. 
because if you had to plug it in, then we would only be able to use it in limited circumstances. Um, oh, must be something metal inside. I can see it glittering. They say you can't find a needle in a haystack. Oh, Lord. It's quite big for a needle. Hmm. Maybe it's a knitting needle? We could take that to the old lady, perhaps? Um. What other options have we got? Okay, so we need to get rid of the crows so that we can steal this stuff from the scarecrow. We need to probably use that to swim across to that island and check out that flower, I'm guessing. Um, hmm. Some of the stuff, I just don't know what we're intended to do with it. I have no idea where it will be used yet. Okay, well, we have the shotgun. If it's loaded... Looks impressive. Maybe we could use that on the crows? Okay. Listen, guys, I want you to get out of here at once, or I'll have to shoot with a real gun, I think. Last chance. Okay. Now we can take the diving mask. Sorry, buddy, I need your sunglasses. And your fins. Okay. A thing to scare the crows, at least that's what the theory says. Now you can see its face, that's kind of... I don't know, I liked it better with the mask on. Hmm. Okay, so now we have a mask and fins. Help me feel more like my underwater brothers. Can we go back to the lake now? Can we use those together? Ah, I'm ready to conquer the lake. Diving equipment. Watch out, water. Here I come. Can we... Okay, so if I just right-click on it, he just uses it automatically. I thought I was going to have to combine it with the destination or something. Look at this. Stones. I don't think swimming there is worth the effort. Hmm. Let's try that again. I saw things, so let's see. Seaweed. It looks like maybe there's something we're supposed to grab or click on and we only get one chance. So we're going to have to do another pass and see what is available. Really can't talk underwater, no joke. Okay, stones, plant, seaweed, boat. Okay, I clicked on the boat that time and it's just not doing anything. Maybe we need to do something else first? Hmm. Well, maybe we can grab a fish. Let's see. Maybe the fish jumping there in the background is the clue and we need to grab those because they do kind of swim up to you. Fish. Okay, yeah, we're missing something here because it's like I can't really interact with anything. Okay, hmm. Let's talk to this guy again. So, what are you doing now? Want to hear a funny answer? Please don't bother. Alright, but you know there's not much entertainment here. Sometimes I like to joke a bit. Or a bite. 
Well then, I'm guarding this place. Well, that's a surprise. And I'm told to kill anybody who tries to get in. Uh, what about the owner? He's not just anybody, you know. I guess you won't let me in then? Bingo. Even if I say please? No way, kiddo. Please. Forget it, I've got a heart of stone. Like your brain. I don't follow. Never mind. How can I soften your stone heart? You can't. I'm a really tough guy. But come here, I'll give you a consolation. Thanks, uh, what is it? Chocolate candy. My employer gave me a few of these for lunch, and... Wait, is, it, is your employer home? Mr. John Nody? Yeah, why? Oh, nothing. John Nody. I think I've heard of him. You should have. He's making big money, you know. Especially lately. Yeah? Oh, I don't know how. Maybe it has something to do with the mad scientist that came around one day. Yeah, you think you're smart, don't you? Are you a spy? Hey, I'm just a common homeboy. <laughs> if you don't want to talk, don't talk. I... Mr. Bad Gay told me to watch for spies. <laughs> Mr. Bad Gay? That can't be right. That can't be. Do I really look like a spy? <laughs> and kill them immediately. Hey, chill. I haven't killed anybody for a long time. It's about this candy, isn't it? Do you want it back? No problem. Sorry, I, I just got carried away. I understand. It, it's hot around here. Yeah. Okay, um, chocolate candy, Down chocolate candy, a great present. Ooh, can we wrap that up? Wouldn't impress anyone with such candy. Okay, well, that was the most obvious thing, so it's probably doomed to not work. Um, okay, well, let's see, I'm kind of... Not really at a loss, but I'm, I'm trying to think my way through this. We have a lot of stuff in our inventory. We've got three rows of items. Um, the chocolate said it would make a great present. Maybe we could give that to Anne? Or to her grandma? Um, that might make the grandma like us better, and then we could take the feather duster? Or the apple? Hmm. Let's see. We don't have anything else. Surely it's not like the the wrench or the needle is not going to get the the pine cone off the hedgehog. No, okay. I didn't think so, but I thought I would try. Let's talk to him again. Hey! What? What's in this bottle? Oh, because he was about to take a drink. You can't prove anything. Something hot, I guess? None of your business. Drinking on duty, huh? You think you've almost got me, don't you? Forget it. Okay. Um. Mr. Guard, I... Listen, boy. Spy or not a spy, it's out of the question. You won't get in, no matter if you just want to visit the place, steal something, or talk to Mr. John Nody. Also, you won't make me talk. One more try, and I'll make a few highways for worms. In your body. Got it? Got it. Okay. Um, have we tried this? That's not good. Okay. 
it can't be the carjack, but... Okay, well. Hmm. That is so cute. The hedgehog is so cute. Boo! Oh, damn. Oh, it's only you. I just wanted to talk to him again. I guess we caught him... Drink? Do you just have to talk to him a certain number of times? It's whiskey. Oh, well, okay. What do we use that for? Label says this whiskey is very strong. Um, let's see, we've done a lot. Let's let's do this. And I should I should probably do multiple save states. So um, I can't think of where else to start other than maybe trying to give the chocolate to Anne or the grandma. Let's try that and see what happens. The worst that happens is nothing. No good. Okay, so not her. No good. Okay. Hmm. Well, I haven't tried using the feather on the feather duster. No. Can we unleash a mouse? Can we give her the comb? She is brushing her hair. No? Okay. Maybe the old lady would like a drink. No. Okay. <laughs> Do you want a potato? Chocolate isn't good for dogs. Could we give this to the dog to make it sick and then we could get into the hatch? No. Okay. Dogs will eat anything. Can we use the rotten cheese? No. I have to keep in mind, some items might be used once and then still they'll stay in our inventory and we don't necessarily have to use them again because when we finished the previous level, we still had a bunch of stuff in our inventory like the jail key that didn't come up again. Um... Is there anywhere else that we haven't been in a while? We haven't been back to this house. There's the squirrel. We haven't been to the uh, the cave. It's very fast. Hey you! Should you please give me that nut lying next to you? Oh, squirrel has a nut. <laughs> okay, that was very King's Quest. You gonna give me that nut or not? <laughs> Damn it, squirrel. Mark said you gotta give me that nut. Alright, that's it. Now you'll get what you deserve. I'm gonna insult you until I get that nut. <laughs> so this game was made in, um, I think 1990 or 1995 um things were different then <laughs> you ugly squirrel you don't you know it's not politically correct to wear fur I just want to hear all of these insults oh Thanks. Okay, wait, so did we... Grass. C 
cool. I won't find the nut just like that. The grass is too dense. Oh, oh. We couldn't click on that before, so it threw the nut down and disappeared into the grass. Wait, can we still talk to the squirrel anymore? Thanks again for the nut. Okay, that's it. Um, I'm guessing that the rake is not going to do it. Yeah, the nut will slip between the rake's teeth. We have the comb. Can we comb it out? We gotta comb through the, the grass. That's no. Oh, I would have felt so fucking smart if that was it. Um, can we fix the rake? Hmm. What else do we have? The fan, the spanner, the mouse. Is there anything else that would work? Hmm. I can't really think of anything. The chainsaw's not gonna work. Uh... Well, folks, this is no good. How are we gonna get that nut? If we can't find it in the grass. Uh. Hmm. Okay. The only thing, the only other thing I can think of. And I thought about this earlier, but it seemed stupid. But this is a stupid game. Um, this has a heart on the wrapper. And there's this heart-shaped hole, which for some reason was relevant, right? I said, what a lovely hole. Can't imagine what I could do with this. Maybe we can... Use the wrapper on this? No. Okay. Um... Can we push the chocolate candy through it to make it heart-shaped? Oh lord, that is dumb, but okay. I don't think this one improvement is enough. Now can we wrap it? Aha, now it looks like it came straight from the store. Brand new candy, or at least it looks like it. Okay, I bet now, now we can use it uh, and give it to Anne, maybe. Okay. Um... What else? What are we missing? We haven't done anything with the laundry. She talked about singing at the window. You can't sing at the window, huh? No? Okay. Can we get the dog to howl, maybe? What if we... air is too damp to dry the wet laundry. Could we use the fan on it? Oh lord, that's it. Yawn. The clothes are dry now. Okay, but we can't do anything else with them. Let's go look at the cave. I feel like this is what we're going to use the chainsaw for. But we got to find fuel for it. I think we're done in the field, maybe? I don't know. There's so much stuff that just doesn't make sense. And not just in this game, but like, you know, in games in general point-and-click adventure games be like that. Hello, bees. Oh, I hate them. Why do you hate bees? What do bees do to you? Um. Let's go back around this way again. Tree is higher than the mansion wall. 
Something tickled me. Okay, so we can climb the tree, maybe, to get into the mansion or over the wall, but we have to... Can we... Can we plug the, the hollow? Hmm. Lord. Hmm. Oh, I didn't see that. This branch is a separate object. Too hard to break. Maybe that's what the chainsaw is for. Oh, wait, wait that's right, there's no fuel. Um... This can't be it. <sighs> the whiskey is strong enough to use as fuel, but I wonder if the chainsaw can take it. Hmm. Okay. Drunken chainsaw. Can we saw off this branch? Because it's too hard to break. Okay. That's... Seems... pointless? Ooh, okay, we, we might use the chainsaw again then, because it's still got fuel in it. What do we need this tree branch for? It defies point-and-click adventure logic to use things, like, on the same screen that you got them. You have to walk around a bit most of the time. So, okay. Not the hedgehog. Could we... It wants to stay five meters away from the bees. If we hadn't already used the shotgun, and it's left our inventory, so it's used up. That would have been my next thought, is shoot down the bees. We can't interact with this. So, because he keeps saying he wants to stay far away. Okay. That's what I figured, but... Um... We still haven't found a bucket. Hmm... Let's go... Let's go try to cut down that branch. Or bush, rather. Thorns are too thin. The chainsaw is useless here. Okay. Hmm. Butterflies and no way to interact with them. Got this rock for some reason. Wait a minute, can we use the branch? Can we lever? No, okay. What about just on the thorn bush directly? The quickest is pick it apart with a stick. No, okay. I was thinking maybe we could like use this and lever the the bush up with the branch, but apparently not. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna be missing something. I don't want to say that it's something obvious, because these games are never obvious.
Swimming didn't do any good here. Maybe we need to fix the paddle, because we have the broken paddle. Could we combine that with the with the branch? Hey! Once again, the super glue comes in handy. Oh. Is that what the super glue is for? Okay, now can we paddle the boat? Oh, alright. Now we're making some progress. Smells very nice. Let's pluck it. Nothing down there. Okay. We got two flowers for some reason. Well, there's only two people left to talk to besides the guard. I was going to give this chocolate to Anna anyway. I bet the flowers are for them. Oh. Excuse me, lady, but I think your laundry's dry now. And too much sun will distort the clothes. How come the laundry dried out so fast? I'd better go and check it. You were right, young man. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Okay. Let's give this to Anne. Uh, would you like some candy? You're nice, but no thanks. I don't want to get fat. Hey, don't worry. Even Obelix has friends. Oh, from like Asterix and Obelix, the, uh, the platform game. Who's Obelix? Uh, never mind. It's just that I found this candy. You found it? I found it's pretty hard to get, of course. It's not some cheap pseudo-chocolate, but the highest quality goody. It's made only from the things you can find in a natural environment. No preservatives added. Oh, alright, if you insist. I should give you something in return. Oh no, you really don't have to. Okay, your wish. Well, on, on second thought. I knew it. You boys always want something. You can't do anything for free. I cleaned my room once. Well, let's forget it. Here's my present for you. It's my ribbon. Think of me sometimes. Thanks. I'll never wash it. Hmm. Don't remind me of that beautiful chick. I mean, female human being. God. Can we give her a flower, too? Uh, or, um, I wonder... I wonder if you'd like to get some, uh, uh, I mean... I have something I'd like to give you because, uh, I think you're... You know, I... Hey, I don't bite. I see you want to tell me something nice. Just use simple words. Simple words? Yeah, simple words make things simple. Oh. Yeah. Um, okay. Simple words. Okay, here I go. Me like you and want give flower. Well, m maybe you should try something more complicated. Uh, sorry? I just... I just brought you a flower. Oh? Do you like it? You're charming. As a matter of fact... Simple words, boy! Simple words! Oh, yes. I just wanted to say that you're charming, too. I guess I should say thanks. I hate myself. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> that whole interaction was... was very fun. Um, can we give this other one to her? Excuse my immodesty. Yes? But I thought that an innocent flower... 
would express my happiness at meeting you. Now see, why couldn't you say that to the other one? I hope you like it. Oh dear. I'm really touched. That's the nicest thing anybody has done for me in the last ten years. Thank you from all of my heart. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, is everything okay? It's nice you ask, but I've told you already. Okay, so she doesn't have anything more to say, I guess. Can we borrow the fucking feather duster now? You think you'd lend me the feather duster? Oh, of course. I can't see why I shouldn't help to such a nice young man like you. Well, thank you very much. Okay, we finally have the feather duster. Now, if only we knew <laughs> what the hell to use it on. Um... Okay. I don't... Do we still need this? It's apple. No story, no apple. No apple. Okay. So I guess we still don't... Uh, maybe we don't need the apple. Um... Oh, what's that? Rope! Oh, that the laundry was hanging on. I didn't ask if I could take the rope. It's really rude to take someone else's property without their permission. And I might get caught, of course. And they will put me in jail, and nobody will respect me anymore. I could really ruin my life doing that. No pain, no gain. Gosh, this game. Okay, so the puzzle-solving logic, like with most such games, doesn't really make a lot of sense in most cases, but uh, it is pretty funny. I'm having a good time. I hope y'all are, too. Okay, um... So now we have this clothesline rope. We could use that with the well, maybe. We still need a bucket. Hmm. Um... And we still also need to get this nut, which the comb did not work. So we've got to find some other way to get that nut. I don't know what else it would be if it's not the comb. Feather duster? I can play janitor with this. Can we combine those? No, okay. Yeah, we gotta get that nut. Mark has gotta get that nut. Um, suggestions? I'm looking at what we have, and I'm thinking about what we have left to do. Gotta find the nut in the grass. Something to do with the well. There are the bees and the dog, the bush in front of the cave. And we have to find some way to gain entry to the mansion. I'm assuming that's like the last step. Um, okay, well, I guess we're back at the step of let's just click on things. The sickle is dull. We don't have anything to sharpen it with. It's not going to be the chainsaw. Okay. Um... Tried the comb. Do we try the comb with anything else? I just can't think what else it would be. If we could fix the rake somehow? No, okay. Can we put the comb on the rake? That would. No, okay. I was gonna say that would make some sense. No. No. No, okay, I already tried that. Um, oh, good idea, but I need something smaller than this rope. Why is that a good idea? Are we going to tie the tines together so that it... Could we? Maybe we could use this thing? Oh, fuck off. 
Tying the ribbon around the rake narrowed the space between the teeth. Oh god. Okay, so now, now we are into real point-and-click adventure hours. Okay, well, let's get that nut. There we go. Nut gotten. We did it, y'all. We got that nut. Or really... <laughs> oh. oh, that's a really big one. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, it's a really big one. Oh, okay. Okay. Whew. All right. So what do we... What do we use that for, though? What does it do? Yeah. Yeah, it's so generous, and we're so fortunate. What does this do? What do we... What is this for? Um... Okay. Think point-and-click adventure logic. Uh, which is to say, like, very often no logic at all. What do any of these things do and what haven't we used? We used the handkerchief. We have not used the mouse or the comb. We did use the cheese. We haven't used the sickle. We've kind of used the glue, but not actively. We haven't used the feather or the potato or the carjack or the spanner. We have used the fan. We have not used the needle. We did use the rake. We haven't used the rope, the feather duster. We used the paddle. We used the chainsaw, but it's still working. We've used this, but we don't know what for. Like, nothing has come of it. Um, and we haven't used this because we just got it. Um... I'm pretty sure we're done in here, right? Like, there's nothing else. We did this. I don't think there's anything back there. Um... Can we... Can we give the dog something to play with? No? Okay, that might work if it was a cat. Can we tickle it like we did the captain? No. Um, does it want to chase the mouse? No. What could it be? Still thinking maybe we could like unleash the mouse in their house and like scare grandma and Anne away or something. Um The feather duster's probably not gonna be used here. There's no use for this. Not gonna be the chainsaw. I've got no idea what to do next. Um. Oh, we never did offer this to the old lady. That's no good. Okay. Do you... Do you... No. Do you want a potato? Potato with E. Dust the fake fruit. Can we... What? 
I'm even faster than Indy TM. Oh, like Indiana Jones. Did you, did you swap something? I've seen it all, boy. Um, uh, I just... Don't worry. I hope you killed that fly. No more interesting fruits here. Only the nut is real. Wait, what? Did we swap the nut for the apple? Why? What? It's so real I could even see the pips inside. Why would we do that? I was about to give up on the, the apple. I thought it was a red herring. So that's what the nut is for? I was just putting food with food, like... Okay. Well, now we have a plastic apple. Um, can we play fetch with the dog? No. Can we... Can we feed it to the guard? Would you like a snack, Mr. Guard? No. Um, maybe we can throw it at the bees. Can we give it to the thing in the tree hollow? Let's see. Can we give it to the, the hedgehog? Is that... Hey, little buddy. What? I've got a decent proposal for you. A big, fresh, juicy apple for this old cone which presses your back. What? If you want to make a deal, stand here and shake your muzzle. is brutal. Wow, you just lied to that little hedgehog and stole his cone? Looks like one of those Havana goodies every self-respecting businessman is supposed to have glued to his smile. Oh, so it looks- oh, it looks like a cigar. I- why did we do that? Um... Okay. Um. Well, that was confusing. I feel like I actually know less about what's going on now. This is some real... <laughs> this is some real, uh... Some real... Gabriel Knight 3 logic going on here. Some real mystery of the druids puzzle solving. Um. What would this be for? Can we cut it up? No. Use it as a grappling hook. I don't know. What? The help of some super glue, I made something? Yeah, you made something. Cone and feather, what? Something's still missing. What the hell are we making with a cone and feather? I am just clicking at this point because I have no idea what the game wants me to do. We have left the realm of logic behind. The needle? So the super glue once again. Dart? What? All I need is a target. A dart. With the needle, feather, and cone. That doesn't look like any dart I've ever fucking seen, friend. Um... Okay... Okay. Um. F 
folks, feel free to <laughs> share your suggestions or your wild ideas. What would we throw a dart at? Okay, let's see. Could it be... No. Okay. The guard. No. The bees. Well, I, maybe that's it. Because we were trying to stay away from them. If we have a ranged weapon. <gasps> oh, that is it. And that summoned a bear? Oh, because we punctured it and there's honey leaking. Is he doing a little dance? Oh. He's swiping at the bees. And there the bees go after him. Okay. Bees nest. Honey balloon. Can we get that down maybe with... Oh, now we can open this because the bees aren't there. Oh shit, okay. What's that? Uh... Life is really brutal. What? Meanwhile, in the mansion. Sir, we've been informed that... Later! I'm busy right now. As you wish, sir. Okay, we got a little cutscene there. Nice suit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I feel like we've crossed some kind of milestone. Um... Okay... I... That, so that didn't do anything. I thought that that was gonna go to an area like in between, maybe come out on the other side of the old lady and Anne's house? Um... Okay. So we used up the dart. That's gone. We don't need the honey, apparently. We just needed the bees to chase the bear away so we could get inside. Still haven't done anything with the well. We we don't have a um, a bucket or anything. Can we use the rope with it? No. Okay. Does it have to be attached to the handle? No. And we never did figure out what to do with this, right? Like we have the boat to get across to the island, but the diving equipment has to be something else. Fish, plants, boat. Wait, anchor? We didn't try that. It wasn't the seaweed or the fish. Let's try that again. Boat, anchor. He's just swimming across, so I, I still feel like we're missing something here. If I want to get this anchor, I have to swim there when I have more air in my lungs. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so the, it is the anchor is something. It's on the left-hand side of the screen. What if we row across to the the island? Can we dive from this side? Because that would be closer to the... To the anchor? Maybe? Not here. Okay. No? Well, shit. I thought that would be really clever, but I should have known better. I have more air in my lungs. So do we have to click faster? 
Maybe it's a timing thing. Maybe I just have to click on it really fast. Ah, okay. Yeah, you just have to click on it really, really quick, like right as it comes on the screen. I was really hooked on this anchor. God. Not big, but heavy enough to sink the boat. I bet I know what this is for. I bet this goes with the rope to make a fucking grappling hook. Makes me feel like another wannabe cliffhanger. Watch out, mountains, here I come. Yes. Okay, that's the first thing that's made sense in a while. Um... All right, but we're still... We can maybe use this to get over the um, the mansion wall, but there's got to be stuff on the outside here that we still haven't done. Like, we haven't done anything with the well yet, and we still haven't gotten into the cave. And there's so much stuff here that we haven't used. Some of it could be used inside the mansion, I'm sure. Um, could we... Oh, could we go down the well with the grappling hook? No, okay. Um, I... Are you still there? Echo! Lol. Um, can we use this to get the handle off? No, okay. Can we throw the potato down there? No. Can we chop the handle off? No. Well, it's blunt anyway, so it wouldn't do anything. What the fuck just happened? be silent here comes the pain okay we sharpened the sickle on the on the bar by turning the handle hmm okay so is that what we is that all we have to do with the well then we don't need to find a bucket um Oh, but if the sickle is sharpened, maybe we can use that to... Can we use that to cut down the thorn bush in front of the cave? Yes! Phew, that wore him out. Okay, is it still sharpened? Yes. Okay, let's go inside. What do we got here? What the hell is that? Lizard. Cool. Not sure if it's alive. It's the way out. Message hole. Okay, what's the message? This inscription's very old, but I can still read it. Great, let's get the message! Gold awaits at the end of the road. This hole looks very deep. It's too narrow to fit my hand. Can we use this? No. The rake handle. No. Feather duster. Uh, the mouse? They can... Hey! Okay. Okay, I had to click on it again. Just put that back in our pocket. Okay. So what did that do? So we can put the mouse in the hole. What else can we do? Okay, if we do anything else with the hole, we get the mouse back. Can we 
capture the lizard, though. And we can't interact with this thing at all. Oh, look, there's like faces up here on the rock, too. That's kind of creepy. I like it. Um... What else would we do with this? Uh... Is it the timing thing? Do we need to wait, maybe? Okay, so I didn't click that time, I just waited and the mouse came back on its own. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure what we're missing here. Butterfly, the rock. We don't have a butterfly net. Can we make a butterfly net? No. Okay. Maybe not with those, anyway. Fallen here ages ago. I wonder if anybody got hurt. Felt like it fell on somebody. We tried levering it up, right? Or, well, no, I tried. I was going to use the tree branch to see if I could pull up the, the bush, and that wasn't it. We haven't used the car jack for anything. Could we jack up the rock? Hey! There's a good idea, Crow. Okay, why did we do that? There's a bone under there? Must be some good dinosaur bone. Oh! Oh! Ooh! Ooh, I felt that! Oh. I really hope this is a dinosaur bone. Okay, and we can't get the car jack back. Big and well-preserved. Must have been a really big uh, animal, I think. Okay. Um, oh, we could give that to the dog. Yes. We haven't had anything to do with the dog. Here, boy, yes. Okay, good. That made sense. Thank God. I hope we're friends now. Don't ignore me, please. Hey, now. Way to the cellar. Good, now we can get in here. Awesome. Awesome. It's kind of dark in here, yeah. Okay, we got a chain. Too dark to see, clearly. Shelves. Ladder, containers, spider, shovel, axe. And this is going to be one of those where we're going to have to light the place up somehow before we can take anything, I bet. You can see there's a spider! Oh, he's, just, he's bugging out, literally. Not that I'm chicken. It's just that it could be a mutant spider, it could bite me, and I'd get mutant too, and I have to wear this funny gloves and stuff, and I'd have a double life, and I have to fight with Venom TM and others, and I might get hurt, <laughs> and everybody would be making money on me but me. I think I'll pass this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, hmm, okay. Okay. 
kidding me? Must have shaken all the nearby walls. Oh, I did say it was heavy. Kind of dark in here. Oh, switch. Showing the valve shook the dirt from the wall and revealed a switch. Wait, that wasn't there before? I legit just thought I didn't notice it. Oh, that spider is leaving. Okay. Sure. Too heavy. Not that I'm a wimp. Don't want to have anything in common with dentists. Containers are empty. Shelves. Strawberry jam. Gooseberry jam. Blackberry jam. Bilberry jam. Get me out of this jam. I kind of want a sandwich now. Shovel. That came in handy last time. Hope these stains on the wall have nothing to do with this axe. Yes, I could take this. It's a quiet little village. No police. No one will hear their screams. But I don't have a hockey mask. Huh. Okay. Um. So we can't take the axe, but we got a shovel. Um. Okay, shovel. Don't know what to use that on. But at least we got access to this, and that kind of made sense. So, yeah, we gotta dig a hole. We gotta dig a diggy hole, but, but where? Where do we dig a diggy hole? Maybe we can dig something up around the mansion. It's back here. I feel like we've done everything we needed to do here, surely. Hmm. Okay. Well, we have done a lot. I don't actually know how much game there is because I've messed with Teen Agent before, as I said at the beginning of the video, uh, but I've never beaten it. This is the furthest I've ever been. So um, this is, you know, a blind playthrough for me. I'm hoping we're done with this, maybe done with this and this, maybe the handkerchief. We have not used the comb, the potato, potato a potato -a. Um, the spanner, we haven't used the feather duster, the grappling hook, and the mouse has still got something to do with that hole in the cave. And then the shovel we haven't used. So, hmm. I'm trying to think of what we may have missed, uh, what there is left undone. I feel like maybe the well has been used, the aisle has been used, um, we've swum in the lake. I don't know. There is still, uh, there's still plenty to do, I am sure. But for now, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Um, so y'all think about it and let me know. Let's see. Um... There we go. <laughs> we'll come back uh, next week and we will pick up where we left off here. And be sure, if you're not already following on Twitch, to give a follow there. Subscribe if you feel like it, or you can hop over to our Patreon and pledge there for some exclusive benefits if you'd like. Just hang out and be part of the community. And if you're watching on YouTube and you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. Be sure to like and subscribe here as well. Turn on notifications and leave a comment with your thoughts if you've played Teen Agent. Uh, I don't want spoilers, but if you want to leave a suggestion of something they should look more closely at or something that uh, maybe, you know, we need to try and combine that might give us a clue, that kind of thing. And you can tweet at me as well. Uh, be sure to find me over on Twitter and follow there, and I'll keep you updated on Titan Quest or about things like, you know, on Saturday we'll be playing Baldur's Gate, 
on Monday, Specific Pixel will be back with more Legend of Dragoon, and so on. So, huh. I'm a little stymied here. I think we, we, this has been a very hit and miss run. I feel pretty good about it overall. Some of the puzzles even made sense. And that is a rare and powerful thing for classic point and click adventure games. So, um, some of the puzzles are bad. <laughs> some of the solutions are dumb. Uh, but that's that's how these games are and overall it's been funny enough to be fun to keep it fun so i hope that y'all had fun as well and i will see you next thursday with more of teen agent at 7 p.m eastern time which is new york and miami time here in the u.s and until then as always thanks for playing <laughs>